Hey, Papa John here. In 1984, when I started making pizzas in the broom closet in the back of my dad's tavern, I had a vision that still holds true today. To make a better pizza, <laughs> you have to use better ingredients. And that's what we do every day at Papa John's, and our customers love it. That is why we will never use cheaper, inferior ingredients. So, how do we make sure every pizza in the world is made with the highest quality ingredients? It all starts here, in the test kitchen at Papa John's headquarters. Hello, John. Don't speak, foolish man. Your voice carries no wind here. You have stumbled upon my domain, and now your mind belongs to me. There are many things I would like to show you. Come, let's begin. How do we differentiate one pizza from another? Simple. We look at its toppings, which exist at its outer extremities. Human beings do not have toppings. They define their social selves by the relationships they maintain with others. At this level, both pizzas and men demonstrate tremendous diversity. There are virtually infinite combinations of pizza toppings, and there are virtually infinite ways to interact with those around you. I wake up every day thinking about Papa John's. And I go to bed every night. Without cheese, a pizza is nothing more than bread with sauce on it. Without a body, a man is nothing more than a concept, a whisper. The body reminds a man that he is real. It is the apparatus through which he interacts with the physical world. What young people don't want is to be bullshitted. You know, they don't want to be lied to, they don't want to be fooled. Beneath the cheese, there is sauce. Beneath the body, there is the mind. In sauce and in mind, we find emotion and personality. The sub-physical traits that make a man a man are formed within the plasticity of the mind. And I said, Daddy, I can fix this. I know I can fix this. Daddy, I can fix this. I know I can fix this. Daddy, 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 daddy. At last, we have arrived at the crust, the existential basis of pizza and man. It is here that you must answer the question I have been asking you all along. The most important question there is. What are you? What are you? Do you know? And even if you think you do, how can you ever be sure?